I tried eBay dropshipping for two weeks and in this video, I'm going to reveal what happened. So if you saw my video two weeks ago, the 24 hour eBay dropshipping challenge, where I tried to list as many eBay dropshipping products as possible in just one day. This is the two week update for that video because it has now been two weeks. So in this video, I'm going to go over what I did each day over the course of 14 days. I'm going to reveal the products that I listed and how I found them. And then I'm gonna reveal the results that I got in two weeks and tell you guys what I'm gonna do next. What's up everybody welcome back to another video for those of you that don't know me already hello my name is meg and on my channel i make videos testing out different online business ideas as well as different side hustle ideas basically just non-traditional ways of making money so if that's something that you're interested in please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turn on the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops and i mean while you're at it you might as well give this video a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm because that helps out a lot more than you know sorry if you guys had to hear my dog like throwing a tantrum upstairs a few seconds ago i don't know what going on up there. But anyways, for those of you that don't know what eBay dropshipping is, let me give you guys a quick recap. Dropshipping is a business model where you sell products in an online store that you don't actually keep an inventory of. Instead, when you get an order on your store, you then go to a third-party supplier and order from them, and they ship the product right to your customer. So in the case of eBay dropshipping, we are listing products on our eBay store that we don't actually have an inventory of. Most eBay dropshippers list their products from larger retail stores such as Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Target, Best Buy, and sometimes even Amazon. So if you want to actually learn how to do eBay dropshipping, I do have a tutorial on how to do this. If you guys want to learn, I'll put my other eBay dropshipping videos up here in a card and I'll make a playlist that will be in the description of this video if you guys want to check out my other eBay dropshipping videos. But because I feel the need to mention this in every video that I make on this topic, technically this type of dropshipping, retail dropshipping, is against eBay's terms of service. And by doing this, I am risking my eBay account. And if you choose to try this out as well, you are also risking getting banned from eBay. I don't want to get in trouble if you end up getting banned from eBay. So this is your warning that this is against eBay's terms of service and you can possibly get banned if you do this. So as I was doing this two week eBay dropshipping test, I was taking notes every day to keep track of what I was listing and make it easier to make this video. So at the beginning of this challenge, my goal was to list at least five products a day, five eBay dropshipping products a day. However, as the days went on and I started working on other projects and other videos, I eventually started like slacking off and I stopped listing. So on day one, which was Saturday, September 5th, I listed this Mainstays Wastebasket from Walmart. And I should mention that although I was open to listing products from other stores, unlike in the past where I said I was only going to list products from Walmart because I have the Walmart credit card, during this challenge, I still only listed products from Walmart. Then I did try to sign up for Zeke Analytics and get the $1 seven day trial. For those of you that don't know what Zeke Analytics is, it's basically a product research software for eBay dropshippers. I don't know why, but Zeke Analytics was not accepting my PayPal, so I was unable to get Zeke Analytics and I had to continue the eBay dropshipping challenge on day one with the manual product research process, which if you guys know how to do is very tedious and very time consuming. It's a bit soul crushing. But anyways, for the rest of day one, I ended up listing this mechanic tool set, this Mainstays 31 inch three shelf bookcase, this Mainstays 71 inch five shelf bookcase, this Mainstays classic open nightstand, this Lasco fan, and this Lasco box fan. On day two, which was Sunday, September 6th, I tried to get Zeke Analytics again, but my PayPal still wasn't working. I listed this Magic Bullet mini blender just because it was a bestseller on Walmart. Then I listed this Shark Professional electronic mop, as well as this Mainstays five cup coffee maker. So that day wasn't as productive as you can see, I probably had work or something. Day three was Monday, September 7th, and this was also the day that I did the 24-hour eBay dropshipping challenge. So if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll put it up here in a card. And on this day, I was finally able to get Zeke Analytics. They finally accepted my PayPal, which made the process of finding products a bit faster and easier. So because I didn't reveal all of the products that I had listed in that 24-hour eBay dropshipping challenge, I'm going to reveal them now. And there's 11 that I ended up listing. I'm going to try to go through them as 
as quickly as possible so that this doesn't get a bit boring. I listed this Auster Classic Series 5 Speed Blender, which apparently is a Vero item. I'm not really sure what that means, but I think it means that eBay will ban me for trying to sell it. Someone pointed that out in the comments of my last video. Anyways, I then listed this Comfort Orthopedic Foam Mattress from Walmart. This mainstays 11 by 14 inch format picture frame, this 12 pack of mocha latte k-cup espresso coffee pods, this kayak trolley, this crock pot, this other crock pot, this mini travel iron, this Purina cat litter, this Purina dry dog food, and this Lasco pivoting fan. On day four, Tuesday, September 8th, I concluded the 24-hour eBay dropshipping challenge, and if you guys saw that video, then you know that I technically did not make any sales, therefore I didn't make any money during the 24 hours. However, around 9 p.m. that night, which was like six hours after the challenge was technically over, I did sell that kayak trolley for $67.99. The buyer paid $72.92 on eBay and I received $65.58 in my PayPal account. And then I bought the products on Walmart and shipped it to my buyer for $46.98, leaving me with $18.60 in profit before eBay fees. I did get my invoice from eBay for the monthly fees, so I'll be calculating that into the profit at the end of this video. But anyways, I didn't list any new products that day and I think this is when I really started to slow down with my listings. On day five, which was Wednesday, September 9th, a customer in Utah bought not only one, but two kayak trolleys for $67.99 each, and I received $131.45 in my PayPal account. Then I bought the trolleys on Walmart and shipped them to my customer for $93.96, so I profited $37.49. So I'm going to add that $37.49 to the $18.60 that I made from the first sale. Now my profit from eBay dropshipping so far is $56.09 before eBay fees. On day 6th, Thursday, September 10th, I sold the Mainstays 11 by 14 inch picture frame. I received $13.24 in my PayPal account, bought the picture frame on Walmart and sent it to my customer for $9.44, leaving me with a pretty slim profit of $3.80. So let's add that to our $56.09. So now we're at $59.89 on day 6. I'd also sold that Auster 5 speed blender, however the buyer was in Puerto Rico, so when I went to check out on Walmart, it turned out not to be profitable, so I refunded the buyer. On day 7, which was Friday, September 11th, I did sell something on eBay, but it wasn't one of my dropshipping products, so I had to go to the post office and ship it myself. It was a pair of Bluetooth headphones, and I made a profit of a about $13. I'm not going to count that $13 towards the total profit from this video. I'm just mentioning it because I didn't do anything else for this project on day seven. On day eight, Saturday, September 12th, I don't think anything happened because I don't have any notes from this day. On day nine, Sunday, September 13th, I sold this mechanics tool set. I received $57.98 and shipped this one to Puerto Rico after seeing that it was actually still profitable for $50.14. And after the sale, I profited $5.86. So now I'm going to add that to our total. And now we're at $65.75 on day 10, which was Monday, September 14th. I guess nothing happened because I also don't have any notes for this day. On day 11, which was Tuesday, September 15th, I sold not one, but two of the mainstays 11 by 14 inch picture frames for $30.59. And it was the same buyer that just ordered two of them. So I received $26.75 in my PayPal account. And then I saw that it would be more profitable to just ship that buyer a pack of two. So I profited $14.56 before eBay fees. So now I'm going to add that $14.56 to our $65.75 and that gives us $80.31. Then I also sold the Lasco Pivoting Utility Fan for $76.99. However, that buyer was in Puerto Rico and when I did the calculations at the checkout on Walmart, it turned out not to be profitable. So I had to cancel that order and refund the buyer. On day 12, Wednesday, September 16th, nothing happened. And I also don't have any notes from the next day, day 13, which was Thursday, September 17th. On day 14, which was Friday, September 18th, I sold the Lasco oscillating fan for $36.99. However, this buyer was also in Puerto Rico. So when I went to check out, it turned out not to be a profitable sale. So I ended up canceling this order as well and refunding the buyer. So in my two weeks of testing out eBay dropshipping, I made $80.30 
31 cents. Again, that's before eBay fees. And like I said, I recently got the invoice. I'm going to add that in right now. As you can see here, my eBay invoice for the period of August 16th to September 15th is $49.51. However, since that starts on August 16th and I didn't start this challenge until September 5th and that invoice is for a period that ended three days before I ended this challenge, I don't think that this would be a completely accurate amount to subtract from my final profits. So to get a more accurate number, I'm going to divide the amount 49.51 by 30, which was the number of days in this period to get an idea of what like the daily cost would be. And I got this really Really long decimal point number 1.650333 Three, 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 as you guys can see right there. And now I'm going to multiply that number by 14 since that's the amount of days that I did this test. And we have about $23.10 as you guys can see here. So I'm going to subtract $23.10 from our $80.31. And we have a final profit of $57.21. You guys can let me know down in the comments if I did that math wrong or if you guys know of another way to calculate the eBay fees. So to wrap up this video, in the two week period that I tested out eBay dropshipping, I made about $57.21. I know that's nothing too crazy or impressive, but with this business model, I was literally able to take $0 and turn it into $57.21 just by copying and pasting some Walmart listings onto my eBay account. And I think that's pretty lit. And if I would have been more consistent and done the five listings a day like I originally wanted to, I probably would have made more. I actually am really thankful that I did this though because about a week week or so ago, I had to get the oil changed in my car and I also got it inspected and the bill for that was a little bit more than I was expecting it to be. So most of the money that I made from dropshipping on eBay actually ended up paying for that. So after doing this challenge, I'm going to continue to occasionally dropship on eBay because like I said, this is an online business model where you can literally take $0 and turn it into money without investing anything up front. So let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see another update or another eBay dropshipping challenge and I'll make that happen. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button if you're not already and hit the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.